What's good people? I'm back again with another video. Just before we get into this unboxing review on for all that good stuff, I always need to request everyone to please like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you show the support. You know, let's get this channel up, up, up. We need more subscribers, more views, more likes, more comments, more engagement, more all of that. But yeah, enough of that for now. Um, I just want to quickly get into it, to be honest. So, uh, quick background. Everyone knows, or a lot of people know, I don't really like dunks. Um, just because of the hype that's surrounding them right now. Everyone's got a pair, whatever. Um, but this pair, you know, I've seen other reviews. Um, shout out Aiden on, I don't want to say it wrong. So it's ACS Sneakers. Yeah, so shout out Aiden at ACS Sneakers. Uh, make sure you check him out. Um, I'll leave a link in the thing below. So he reviewed these. I saw them and, you know, I saw the pictures. I was like, these look kind of cool. Um, I saw his review. They started, you know, sh popping out a bit more to me. But then now I've got them in hand. I really like them. Um, so, you know, let's just get into it, man. So the regular... As always, same old red Nike box with the Nike swoosh on it. You know, I don't know when they're going to change this. Um, I've been saying I want them to change this because I've had enough of seeing it now because I've got so many pairs with this. <laughs> Let's just get into the sticker. So it's Nike Dunk Low Retro PRM. The PRM means premium. Um, so that, that's probably one of the reasons why I like these a bit more. Um, the colorway on the sticker is Iron Grey Phantom Scream Green. Um, UK 9.5, 10.5 USA. Uh, centimeters 28.5, Euro 44.5, and then BR 42.5. And it's got the women's sizing below, which it would be a women's size 12. UK cent, um 9.5, I'm moving all dyslexic now. Centimeters 29, that doesn't make sense to me because I don't know how it would add 0.5 centimeters extra when it's the same shoe. But yes, we, <laughs> I don't even know about that. So the style code is DQ768101 and they are made in Vietnam. And now the boring bits are over, let's have a look at the sneaker. Or trainer, whatever you want to call them. Let's have a look at that. So it's an iron grey, so it's you know the Halloween pair, um the Halloween dunks. Um you know online I really thought hmm these are alright. Um I was put off by the bottom, I still kind of am, but I love this grey. Um so you know if someone can sort this out for me, you can, but I don't know. I really like them. I'll definitely wear these if they came in the Air Force One with this grey colorway. And then even the materials I love. But let's just get into it quick. So it's got like um, the recraft type, recycle type, scream green bottom. Well, I hope it's scream green. I did read that correctly. Um, so the whole sole is scream green. And it's got the little speckles of red, white, blue, red, white, blue, whatever. Midsole, white midsole. That's all around. Then the upper is all grey um it's slightly different leather here so it's got the more you know the aged type leather on the back tab and the swoosh look at that long swoosh then it's got kind of a another swoosh behind it that's like kind of a sticker like a 3m type sticker so it does you know show it's showing quite well on the camera so i'm happy about that and it's got that same aged leather on the toe box going all around or the toe wrap around whatever you want to call it man toe box the proper bit leather very smooth and you can already tell it's better leather than the other um general release pairs or i hope it's better and i hope it's not just like a placebo effect but i definitely do like the leather and i think even overall um, compared to like you know general release or, or 
the cheaper pairs because these were a bit more but you know the general release pairs these are a bit better than those or well, they feel a bit better than them even I've put them on foot and they feel different which is very odd like it doesn't make sense to me um, same thing on this side so the kind of aged leather with a bit of cracking and stuff and then smooth leather smooth leather on the back and then again on the back that kind of Nike logo and then it's got another one Nike in like the 3M material which will definitely glow in the dark or when you take a picture on then it's got the Nike and then a Nike swoosh on the tongue the inside um, it's got the green actually that's not coming out it's got a sticker as well let's see the other one yep so it says Nike and it's got the swoosh so same thing as what the tongue has literally the same font and stuff just there and then the same font as on the back um i really like these man like this this is actually one dunk that i've really had like i've liked the quality um the the check like i've looked at them properly i've had a look at them and you know there's no like flaws on them per se um i've had other pairs which you know there's a lot of flaws on um so the quality control the qc this you know very good on these so shout out nike for actually doing a qc quite well um but you know i expect that anyway usually when you see um nike obviously the prices as well these days like some pairs have been 170 pounds and the qc is still rubbish like come on man 170 pounds and they can't do a quality control properly like it'll be just wonky and stuff i've had a general release pair of dunks which the logos on the back so normally on the general release it's like here and here and then one was high up like here and one was low down and i was thinking come on man this is like a legitimate pair that has come directly from nike and they can't even do that right but overall i really like these um with the dunks you know i i usually am first to cast dunks to shout at them swear at them and all that stuff but with this colorway i really like them um there's a few colorways that i've seen that i really like but i don't like the ones that everyone likes like everyone just wants to buy straight away but this is definitely the best pair of dunk out of like the five pairs i've ever owned um definitely this takes the crown it's just this is a bit annoying so obviously my overall rating will be much less um speaking of rating <laughs> let's just get into that quick these i'd give a strong seven out of ten because of just the bottom i didn't really like i believe it doesn't even glow in the dark so you know that's a bit of a whatever um if if they was if the bottom was this gray oh that would be amazing but obviously it's the halloween style so you know they gotta put a bit of this green and all that good stuff but yeah these are definitely for me you know a, a quite a decent pair that i really like they might even grow on me more when i wear them more um sizing you know i usually wear nine in the air force one nine and a half in a jordan so this was a nine and a half uk for myself so i went true to my jordan size like my jordan one size as i think they fit quite similar and yeah that's really all of all i really got to say about these um that's the review uh, make sure you like comment share subscribe stay active you know watch all the videos and i got a lot of comment i got a lot of comment i got a lot of content coming for you people yeah you can tell i'm tired it's late but yeah let me know if you like them let me know if you hate them tell me if you rate them tell me if you don't tell me if you got them tell me whatever let's talk sneakers people but that's all from me for today and make sure you check out the on foot video that's going to follow as always on foot video at the end and most importantly take care people